How can you make school feel less scary for parents and carers who have got a fear of school? So we're thinking here about those kind of families where there's this kind of intergenerational issue that perhaps the parents, the carers have had a bad experience of school themselves or their interactions have been negative, they were often in trouble or didn't engage and that we're seeing those patterns repeated in the next generation. I work with schools often who've got this over, you know, two, three more generations um, and these are the families that we really really want to engage um, but they can feel harder to reach um, because often they are quite afraid of coming into school. So in this video I'm just going to share some really simple ideas about how to get those families on site and on side. Okay idea number one is think about the communications that you're having with these families. Try and share good news. So very often, the communication that they're used to receiving is, why is your child not here? They've got in trouble. They haven't done their homework, etc., etc., etc. Often it can be quite negative. So if there's a family where the child has a quite negative outlook and experience of school, perhaps the family has experienced the same thing, then they get very used to every time that they hear anything from school, it's bad. And it kind of reinforces those negative associations that might have been there for many generations. So what we need to do is to try and kind of flip that and reverse it and try and encourage some positive relationships between school and home. Now that can be tricky if you've got a child who is quite challenging and it might not be that there's loads of good news to share but your job then comes to hunt for the good. So hunt for any little good thing that you can find to celebrate about that child. You will be amazed by the positive reception you will get from a family who've maybe never heard good news from from a school when you pick up the phone or you send them an email or a postcard saying I just wanted you to know that today your child was really kind or they really paid attention or whatever um, and again this can really help with the family child relationship and the discussions they're having about school because when the kid gets home from school if instead of you know the teacher's been on the phone again why were you doing xyz they hear hey I heard you tried really hard in your maths test today that begins to change the dialogue so think about how you can share good news positive communication with the family as a starting point trying to change their perception. Okay number two is about picking your events wisely and making sure that when your parents come into school there's something in it for them. Make them really want to come. So often you will begin to build this relationship through kind of celebratory events and getting the children really involved. If you're thinking about wanting to do more of a kind of education type program and support the learning of parents and it can be hard to work out from parents what they want if they're not engaging, that's the whole problem here, then talking to the children can be a really good starting point and also using the children to help communicate why it's important for parents to come and maybe involving children in the delivery of the stuff too that makes it less scary but it also motivates parents to come because they want to see their child kind of performing and doing well so you can kind of uh, think about maybe getting parents in a bit more through happy kind of sociable celebratory type events but also making sure when you're doing informational stuff it's actually what they need to hear and it's pitched at a level that makes sense to them Okay, number three is thinking about when you are bringing parents and families into school, imagining what this feels like for them. So imagining that you have got a parent whose experience of school was difficult, who's got maybe a lot of fear and anxiety attached to this, and then imagining what walking into your school for this event feels like for them. So you can make this feel more warm, more welcoming, less scary, by trying to make it feel less formal, less like school, essentially. Um, and simple things will make a really big difference here. So think about what you're wearing. Are you dressed really formally? Is this likely to create a bit of a divide with some of your parents, or are you dressed like them? You want to all feel Feel like you're kind of there's not a hierarchy here you're all on the same team yeah so think about whether your clothing perhaps might feel kind of scary and formal and, and perhaps whether that's something to think about think also about simple stuff like how you expect the children to address you so in many schools you go to then teachers are automatically addressed as mr this or mrs that or miss that or dr so and so um, and i understand fully why schools do that but again if you're working with a family whose experience of school was that every time they they spoke to Mr Smith they got told off then going into another school many years later and talking to people in those same terms will bring about you know it, it kind of re-traumatizes maybe on what might seem quite a small level but it's significant for that person and particularly if they've not worked through those kinds of difficulties and if instead they can call you Sam then you know that can really help and again it reinforces that we are on the same team we're on the same level there's not a sort of hierarchy here. Idea number four is 
really obvious um, but really worth thinking about and that is to make sure that every time your parents, your carers, your families set foot in school they feel super welcome. You want to give them a hug, I mean not literally, I mean you might literally, but you want them to feel warm and held and like you want them to be there. How can you let them know that you're happy that they're there? Actually getting to know a little bit about them, taking time to listen to them, engaging with them, literally telling them I'm really glad you're here and talking to them about what is likely to be one of their favourite topics, their children, um, is a really, really positive starting point. Try, if you can, also to kind of say a nice goodbye when people go. And for those families that you're really working hard to engage with, follow up afterwards, give them a call, drop them an email, let them know that you're really glad that they attended and you really hope they got something positive out of it and let them know they're always welcome to come back again in future. Those little things can make a really, really big difference when you're trying to build these bridges and develop those relationships. Finally, remember this might take time. So you are perhaps trying to break generations worth of negative relationships between home and school. And so this isn't necessarily gonna fix itself overnight. So don't assume that you're gonna be able to fix it quickly, but think instead about how you can begin to build those relationships. So you might wanna start with a bit of a softly, softly approach. And instead of trying to get your parents in to engage them with the thing that you really wanna to talk to them about, instead think what's gonna feel acceptable and nice and happy and and kind of bonding for them. So a really nice example I heard of recently was a school I was coaching who talked about having families in, the whole families in for Christmas lunch. And they did this for two reasons. One was because for lots of these families, it was in a really deprived area. And for lots of these families, this might be the only chance they got to experience a Christmas lunch. Um, and so they thought it was nice and celebratory and a really positive experience for the whole family from that point of view, which is lovely. But also they had all their staff there dressed up as elves with bells on and all that kind of thing um, but they were there going and talking to the parents and they were targeting specific families that they wanted to build that relationship with and they weren't having any kind of tough conversations they were just making them feel really really welcome and a part of things in the hope that when they then wanted to talk to them about other stuff or invite them back in for other reasons they'd have this positive memory of the in, the meal they'd had at school and that was the beginning of a really much nicer less formal more trusting relationship relationship. If you want more ideas about engaging your families at school, I've got two books to recommend. Um, one is this one by Catherine Weston, which is um, aimed really at primary schools, but I think that lots of these ideas could be applied elsewhere. Um, absolutely love this book. Um, the other one is one that I've recently come across by Nicola S. Morgan. The S is important, not that Nikki Morgan. Um, and this is about engaging families. I trained recently with Nicola and she was just brilliant and also hilarious, but the book is really super practical um, and I love it. So I'd also highly recommend this one. I hope this was helpful and gave you some ideas. I would love to hear how are you engaging with families in your school. Leave a comment down below. Remember loads of different people watch these videos and they read the comments too. So if you've got a great idea or something you're going to try, please share it so that others can try it out too. Take care, be kind to yourselves and please subscribe. New videos every Tuesday and Friday. Okay, bye.